active. If it's active, why are you advertising it to me every time I play a song? Anyway, rant over. We're done with ranting. <laughs> <laughs>so the next up is um this is a forbes article that i ran across and ironically this one made this one forced me to turn off my ad blocker and it is just like plastered (laughs) with ads everywhere and it's called the driving force of capitalism is empathy not greed and i kind of touch on this i'm I'm on chapter five of pastor dickie's book and in my script i have um gotten to the point like it, the like the whole chapter is basically godwin's law the chapter mm-hmm. it's like atheism leads to nazism and stalinism i'm sure it does <laughs> yeah and and like this is i think this is the first chapter where i've caught him in an outright lie like there's been lots of deceptive stuff before but like it could just be that he's getting his information from biased sources that are being deceptive and he doesn't actually know any better because like that's that's his style is he just copies other people's work basically um but uh i i happen to know that pastor dickey is very very much pro-capitalism um he's like borderline libertarian gee i wonder what jesus would have said about capitalism this is he would have like whipped a whole bunch of people changing money in temples or something yeah so this is and this like this article i read through it and it basically takes the most um the most utopian view of capitalism possible so So early stage mercantile nothing has gone bad yet (laughs) yeah so what they say like okay i didn't go through this one and highlight it um yeah so they they complain about people saying that capitalism is based on greed which like even if like even if we grant everything that they say in the article it's still based on greed because like they, they yeah. it says it's based on empathy not greed but like how is it how the, is it possibly the argument, based on empathy so the argument goes that like whoever has the most empathy is able to detect the needs of their customers better than those who do not have empathy therefore they will meet the needs of their customer and so the ones with the most empathy will be the ones who have the most successful businesses so um, but but I, here's the thing that like that's still based on greed because if i have empathy because it's to en- the end it's to the end of getting money from them yeah if i have enough empathy that i'm meeting my customers needs and thereby making more money i'm doing that so that i can make more money if you just had the if you just had the empathy if you have the resources to start a business and you're, you're just doing purely empathy based business and not profit driven business not greed based business you just give your shit away because you have empathy but so like that that doesn't that doesn't work for capitalism you don't make money that way not to mention in a world where you believe this is true then you never need to have a marketing department because part of marketing oftentimes is not empathizing with the needs of people it is creating need where it was not previously a lot of times when you are doing marketing you are trying to tell somebody uh what was it the the whole like hey how long have you been in a market for a pen you might not have needed a pen wanted a pen etc a marketer's job is to make you feel like you need the pen and then buy the pen that's the entire shtick of marketing so to say that it's about empathy makes no fucking sense. All right. So they say, take Steve Jobs as an example. He came up with the iPhone and other products because he understood modern customers' needs and desires better than anyone else. So just stopping there, what, what, is, what is Apple known for in the tech space? Apple is known for creating their own versions of shit that already exists and trying to monopolize it. And charging way more for it than the other companies already do. Yeah, because like you, you can get an uh, you can get an Android phone with identical specs to an Apple phone, but the Apple phone is going to cost like five hundred dollars more. 
There's only like, one bit of and, tech. And people people will say like, oh, well, if you compare the flagship phones, they're the same prices. Yeah, they're the same prices, but the, the uh, Android ones have like twice the RAM and faster processors, more storage space. So like, yeah, the flagships are the same price, but the Android ones give you more for that price than the Apple ones. Is that empathy or is that greed on Apple's part? Yeah, again, it is not creating a... It, it is not reciprocating the need of a person. It is creating an artificial need in someone else. What is it? The, the latest iPhones, they finally acquiesced and said that, oh, iPhones are going to be able to use USB-C cables now. At, at USB 2.0 speeds. What the fuck is yeah, that? But only at USB 2.0 what speeds. What the fuck use, is that? Why? Unless you Why? use their proprietary cable. You can use any cable you but want, fucking, but it will be slower than the They're fucking lightning one. cables. They're fucking lightning cables. The proprietary lightning cables still give USB 2.0 speeds. So, like, before they were forced to, US, to USB-C, they were still giving the people that were paying the most money USB 2.0 speeds. USB 2.0 hasn't been the standard for, like, a decade. Maybe not a decade. I don't know. When, when did USB 3.0 come out? I seem to recall working in a call center roughly around the... I gotta look that up. When did USB 3.0? Eight or out? nine? Two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. Two thousand eight is when now USB 3.0 came out. Sorry, because of the crop, nobody can see that. But um, yeah, so uh, that's that's what fifteen years. Fifteen years we've had USB 3. They still haven't given USB 3 to their flagship phones until the EU forces them to adopt USB-C, and then only if you buy their overpriced cables, which the the EU might put a kibosh on that as well. Are you telling me that's empathy? That's no. not greed? You know what's, you know what still upsets me a little bit, though? Just there's, there's one tiny bit of tech. There's one tiny bit of tech that Apple actually does have. Uh, it's, it's their IR and depth of field sensors in their camera. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I want... I'll give them that. At, I want that in my Android phones. You know why? You know why? You want to know why this VTuber model tracks at all well? Because it's using an iPhone, and I hate it. I literally <laughs> have I have in my hand an Android phone that I use every day and then plugged into my computer never to move or do anything else, an iPhone that is just a glorified camera. That is all it's for. Yeah. And but I hate that I had to buy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, well, and I so I'm looking into um, updating my phone because like I, I have my phone on um, like the, I, I got the monthly payment thing or whatever. I pay 55 bucks a month for the phone that I have now. Um, mm. If I update right now, the company that I'm with, if I update to a brand new flagship Samsung S23 Ultra, my bill gets $20 cheaper. But... The thing is, I have a Google Pixel right now, and I Google's actually pretty shit when it comes to making software that works on its own hardware. Like, there's so many stupid bugs. It's like, why? Why, Google? Why is Samsung better at making software for your own fucking operating system? Why are they better at making hardware that works on your own fucking operating system? I don't understand that. Like in um, my chat, Smacko just goes, obligatory UGG, socialist using iPhone. <laughs> iPhone, Venezuela, 100 zillion dead. Yeah, okay, but <laughs> but the, the thing that's stopping me from upgrading is that I love uh, Google's call screening feature, where if I get a call from a number I don't recognize, I press a screen button, and it's like, the caller you have reached is using a call screening service from Google. Please state your name and the reason you are calling. And then... If they're, a, if they're a scammer, they uh, hang up. If there's someone that actually has to talk to me, they say their name and the reason they're calling, and I answer. And it's great, and I love it. I don't have to deal with scam calls anymore. Um, but, like, no other Android phone has that. Yeah, I don't have that on mine, and I have a, I have a OnePlus. I want that. Uh Hey says I own the S23 Ultra and it's incredibly heavy. Yeah, I don't care about that. It's about the same. Good. It needs to be a it needs to be able to be a weapon so, that I can use to defend myself. So my my sister actually has the S23 Ultra, and um, so I I was able to, like get hands on with it a little bit. It's basically the same size as my I, I have a Pixel Six Plus, 
It's a little tiny bit bigger than that, and it's about the same weight, like it's close enough that it's not going to make a big difference to me. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't know. This is, this is not empathy. Like Google, Google is shit when it comes to making products that work for like long term. Like they, they have this great history of like starting up new amazing things that would be great if they kept up with them and then they abandoned them. And like, I'm on the verge of switching all my, my smart speakers to uh, Alexa because the Google shit is just, it's crap. Like they, like. You set up a routine that's like, when I say this thing, it will do this process. Mm -hmm. And it works for like a week. And then it just suddenly stops working for no reason. And I, I don't know why. I can't figure it out. Nobody else can figure it out. Um, I play music on YouTube. I have YouTube Premium. I have that for work. It's a tax deduction for me. It's great that I get to deduct that on my taxes because I don't get to watch ads and it's a tax deduction. Um, but it, like I have it connected to my Google speakers, but if you know, like when we listen to music in the house, uh, after every single song, we get an ad for YouTube premium because we don't have YouTube premium. But if I go into my fucking YouTube, the, like my fucking Google home app and look at the fucking thing, like to like, why don't I have premium? It says, Oh, your YouTube premium subscription is active. If it's active, why are you advertising it to me every time I play a song? Anyway. Rant over. We're done with ranting. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling like this is your end of the week catharsis. <laughs> Almost. Is it like, no, like, I don't know. It's, I just like Google has so many almost good things. And like the, so many things that like, if you just like did it right, it would be yeah, amazing. like YouTube. YouTube's almost good. Yeah. Anyway. They go on to say uh, Mark Zuckerberg, one of the world's richest people, created Facebook because he knew better than other entrepreneurs what people wanted. Uh, you, didn't he, like, steal Facebook from the what, what are the, the two brothers? Also, we already had Facebook. It was called MySpace, and it was actually better. Yeah. I, I could program. I could put my own songs on MySpace. I could customize the layout with HTML. It, it was better in every way. Why do we? Why did Facebook become the fucking standard? Yeah, I don't know. It's I don't I don't even use Facebook anymore. Like I know my my podcasts auto post to Facebook, but that's basically it. I don't even see the comments on those things. I should probably log in occasionally. <laughs> but uh, and then it says the market punishes self centered entre entrepreneurs. Um, so this is the whole thing where like if if a company gets a bad reputation, people stop using it for something. Bullshit. Bullshit. Okay. Well, no, no. no let's just grant that. Let's just grant it for a moment, hypothetically. Okay. That assumes that they get caught. How many companies don't get caught doing their shady shit? There's no way to know because they haven't been caught. Yeah, exactly. And on top of that, that also assumes that you don't have uh, like companies that are lobbying the government to put in regulations to secure their monopolies. It's like, that's one of the things I get into. What about monopolies? Well, you, you, you know, the monopolies in the early 1900s, like those companies don't exist anymore. Bullshit, they still do. Ford Motor Company, it's still a thing. Like, they're not a monopoly per se. My companies get caught doing child labor and they still do child labor. Companies get caught yeah. union busting and they still get to do their thing. The thing is, is that my partner company just brought does me bad shrimp. Thing. She she heard me yelling and brought me shrimp. I'm jealous. Because shrimp makes it better. Like I the world in which companies are always held accountable for the bad things they do assumes that everybody all the time has perfect knowledge and public perception. Mm hmm Also again. I mentioned marketing earlier as one of the reasons why the empathy argument is bullshit. Do you know what marketing for people is called? PR. You have to ignore the existence of a PR department for this to work. Yeah, like they, they, they bring up the Deutsche Bank because the Deutsche Bank ruined their image and so nobody will do business with the Deutsche Bank anymore. I don't know how true this is. I don't, I don't actually don't know anything about do... the Deutsche Bank. Hold on, hold on. I'm fairly certain people still do business with the Deutsche Bank. Let's see here. Their stock price is up today. Their stock prices, yeah, that's the first thing I went to. Let's see here. So year to date, they dropped, uh, but then they've started to stabilize at 10 to 15, or 10 
and a half U.S. dollars when they were sitting at twelve to thirteen U.S. dollars uh, at this time last year. Yeah, so so like, yeah, they've had a dip. Not amazing stock prices, but like not terrible. They're still functional. It's fine. So people still do business with Do Deutsche Bank, even though apparently, according to this article, they have terrible image. Um, yeah, and people will lose customers and flock to their competitors, but they're still around and like making millions of dollars. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, and then the what about monopolies? This is where you're like, oh well, Lenin wrote over a hundred years ago that imperial imperialism and monopoly capitalism are the last stages of capitalism, but the monopolies he criticized at the time no longer exist. Yeah, there definitely are no oil companies left over from that time. There are definitely no automotive companies that are left over from that time. Like, yeah, some of them went... And you know what? The ones that no longer exist, do you know why they no longer exist? Because the government stepped in and said, hey, you're too big of a monopoly. We need to split you up. Because that happened a lot in the 20th centuries, particularly in the like the 50s to the 70s. So... Like, a lot of those companies don't exist anymore because of government regulations against them, not because capitalism said, hey, no monopolies. That's funny. For every right-winger that bitches and complains about, like, woke Marvel movies, they seem to ignore the fact that Disney is a slowly consuming monopoly, and that's half the reason why the diversity of thought style movies they are wanting to exist aren't in the mainstream the way they wanted them to be. I don't know. It's almost like a lot of the enemies that people seem to have are the same. They just refuse to acknowledge that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. I forgot. When a right winger talks about uh, rich elites, they're talking about Jewish people. I forgot. No. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Got to read the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, right? Because, you know, Russian propaganda hasn't been a thing for the entire 20th and 21st century. I, f I wish I could find the document still, but there was a document me and Game Apologist went over on stream at one point uh, from MI6 that went into, like, all of the wedge issues that Russia was going to try to, like, pit the United States against itself on. And just, like, gender issues, abortion rights, gun control issues were all listed in there. And I'm like, huh, that's awkward. I don't want to be the tinfoil hat guy that says it's all Russian conspiracy, but, I mean, that seems to be kind of the case in a lot of cases. I don't like that.